Welcome back to the Banana Republic of Nigeria. Today we are going to hopefully reduce poverty down to more minimum. We've got some opposition members persecuted. I'm not quite sure why, but members of the opposition and their supporters are being subjected to a campaign of persecution by the government agents. This flagrantly undemocratic abuse has been met with condemnation at home and abroad. And it seems like it affects quite a few people or groups, although eh, not all that much. So, down is good for poverty and for crime, as well as for unemployment. Although, with education and health, we want them to go up. So, poverty, thankfully, is going down, actually, by quite a bit now. So, our changes do seem to be taking um, effect. Our budget surplus is $376 billion as well, so that's a good thing. And let's have a look. Yeah, we're definitely going to have some problems. I wouldn't be surprised if I get assassinated again. Seems like Africa, this DLC is much, much more difficult. Actually, it's not really a DLC, it's standalone as well, isn't it? An expansion pack is what we'll call it. And the loyalty of your ministers um, seems to be trustworthy, although their effectiveness seems to be disappointing, which is no good at all. Now, one thing that I did miss out on in the very first episode is the implementation of new policies. In particular, the taxes. As you can see, we don't really have many bubbles around here. So, I probably should make the most out of that. Um, let's have a look. So, the poor seems to be uh, improving a little bit. Actually, no. it's Okay, this is how much they like us after all as well, the popularity. So, that does seem to be improving. Uh, let's see what I can do to reduce homelessness. Um, poverty is a big, and, um, well, unemployment is the biggest factor in that. Definitely need to do something about the unemployment. So let's go click on unemployment. Um, a bad GDP definitely doesn't help us out. Well, it seems like that's pretty much the big thing, the unemployment. So I definitely need to create more jobs. The government creating jobs. All right, let's go have a look at what we can do in terms of the economy, maybe. So... And got religious rest days. It seems like a lot of people would like that, but let's see. Most organized religions recognize one day of the week as a day of rest, and many religious people believe that there should be no shopping carried out on that day. Some trade unions also believe that an enforced day of rest prevents its members from being exploited. Seems like everyone likes that, uh, but let's have a look. Consumer rights, no. Maybe taxes could help us out as well. Recycling. I want. I want to make like lots of money. At least something that'll help us make a lot of money and improve our GDP. So the failure rate for small businesses is very high. In the early years of trading, a preferential government grant can be an enormous help. That sounds good. This can lead to a big boost to the economy, but it can also be an expensive policy with no guarantee of good results. Well, I will have the faith in my people. I'll increase. Um, self-employed people quite a bit the GDP also will improve quite a bit capitalists like us socialists love us at the moment so that's not really much of a problem okay I'll take that let's see what else can we do economy and maybe tax shelters let's see what does that do so if only you'd be able to see what would be nice if there's like an information icon um, to see what groups will actually be affected by each policy because at the moment all we can do is just click implement and once you've already done that the policy is implemented and you can't cancel it unless you want to waste more political capital um, so I can't really see who benefits most out of this which is unfortunate I wish that would definitely be there you'd think it would be but oh well I have no idea why space program is so well liked. Let's see. Invest in your country's efforts to explore space as well as the purely scientific benefits. A well-funded space program will boost the level of technological expertise throughout the entire economy. It will also unite the country and encourage patriotism, which itself is not a bad thing at all. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to lower the unemployment as well. That's actually pretty nice. And it will reduce the technological backwater. And religious membership seems to uh, go down as well, which I find quite amusing. Although implement implementation delay is 16 turns. Jeez. Um, how many turns do we have left in our term? 25. Jeez, so we're not going to see the benefits of that until very late. Uh, and let's have a look at rural 
Um, guys, what can we do to improve that? So, let's see. Oil wealth seems to be bringing it down. What? That's not good. I don't know how that works. Poor transport links as well. Jeez, maybe we should um, invest a bit in roads and infrastructure. The condition of roads, rail lines, and waterways and airports is poor. We can't be having that. So let's have a look. Um, road building. I'm surprised because let's see what section is this? This is public services. Just poor transport links. I need better infrastructure, clearly. Hmm. I think I'll leave things as they are. I mean, let's see. Uh, let's go here, and we can go public... Oh, uh, no, transport. And we can go with biofuel subsidies. Nothing here that can really, I guess... Oh, here we go. This uh, can bring money in. Quite a bit, actually. Here we go, subsidize school buses. State subsidies for school buses ensure that every school kid has an efficient and safe journey to school whilst reducing the number of short school run trips carried out by parents, thus reducing traffic on the roads. Parents are also happier knowing that there are proper approved school buses. That sounds pretty damn good to me. Um, parents are happy and bus usage increases quite a bit. I don't say much. I was... Well, 19 billion's all right still making a lot of money let's hope it doesn't slow down it would be a shame if it did uh, let's see what else we can get free bus passes okay reduce pollution as well law and order I got told um, to implement I think it was uh, let's see what was it torture definitely not torture I don't want to implement that at all um, was it CCTV? I don't think it was CCTV in the comments. Wire tapping, that's the one. So, it actually doesn't cost all that much. From a law and order perspective, wire tapping is an essential weapon in the fight against organized crime and terrorism. The problem is that it's difficult to prevent misuse of such a system, and liberals are keen to point out how widespread wire tapping is in a very sinister sign of a police state. To be honest, because it's so cheap, I will actually do that. Um, liberals aren't going to like us very much. Actually, you know what? I think I'll just go... Uh, let's see. We'll do an on-police request. Yeah, on-police request. I mean, I definitely don't want to get killed and have our term cut short. Democracy 3 is a pretty short game at that, so we do want to make sure we last a little while. Alright, so we've got 30 more political capital left. Maybe I can implement a tax such as a micro-generation grant. These grants are given to citizens to help subsidize the cost of energy micro-generation systems such as solar panels and wind turbines. This is a good way to take advantage of some people's desire to make a personal step towards cleaner and greener energy. Oh, that's pretty good. What about health tax credits? Okay, this sounds good. A system of tax reductions and credits designed to encourage people to spend their money on private health care. Okay, you know what? I will implement that. And we'll reduce some of the poor. That's $250 billion now. Hopefully we'll be making money actually. But we'll implement that and I think off we go into the next turn. We're making $376 billion. Oh, look at that. Poverty is dropping down quite a bit. Unemployment's dropping down. The budget deficit is 548 billion. Jeez, maybe I should have uh, been calculating a little bit more how I'm doing. Because that ain't looking good. Why in the world did the income drop so drastically? Income definitely... I don't understand why. Um, that's not good at all. At least there's a couple of green popularity ratings over here. Yeah, definitely don't think we're going to last all that long over here, though. What's this? Female genital mutilation. Jeez, you definitely wouldn't want a razor on your genitals. It just does not look right. All right. So what I'm going to have to do is 
um, very clearly raise some funds. I'm just incredibly surprised. Income tax just dropped down a lot. Maybe I should raise just the income tax then. Hmm. I don't want middle income to go down too much. So middle income already doesn't like me too much, so. What if I do how much percent does this change? Okay, quite a bit. This will be forty two percent minus forty two percent. I will use that. Okay, I'm gonna have to implement some new taxes, I think, as well. Um, let's have a look. Maybe a car tax. Doesn't seem like many people like that, though. So, graduate tax could help us out because once you graduate, you pay the tax. There's a way for those people to contribute to their cost of their university tuition. Supporters say this is fair because not everyone benefits from a university education. Opponents argue that it creates a disincentive to study purely academic subjects and the arts, as well as penalizing ambition. There we go. Hybrid cars initiative. Although that's just costs. What's this? A flat income tax? No. No, thank you. Definitely not that. A marriage tax allowance? I don't think so. Mortgage tax relief. This will help the poor, wouldn't it? This helps home buyers to afford their mortgage payments, but can be resented by those who are not in a position to buy a house. Oh, so that could cause some problems. We've got plastic bag, property taxes. Here we go. A mansion tax. This is what I'm going to do. Make the wealthy hate me. Don't want the elderly to hate me too much. I definitely want to... Uh, raise the amount of money that we're making. If only it would say like how much money you'd be making next turn. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I just want to just check out my cabinets. Okay, I think they're pretty happy. I mean, I'm hoping they are. I'll leave things as they are at the moment. Uh, let's have a look. What else can we do? The poor. So... It's just unemployment. It should be going down, though. Our homelessness is finally going down, so that's good. And unemployment is going down. Um, and the poor GDP, though. That's just the one thing that I really need to improve. Productivity. Uh, let's have a look. Gender inequality. Skill sort shortages. Oh, really? There's a skill sort shortage. Interesting. So... We want gender equality as well. Informal, okay. Maybe, what can I do about this stuff? Just increase education, I guess. What does this do? HIV and AIDS. Well, we definitely don't want that to be around. It seems like that'll stop if it keeps going the way it is. So that's good. Uh, let's have a look. Education, so we want public services are here. Let's see, science funding. Okay, that's just... Okay. What if I go public services, public libraries? Here we go. Here's something that we can get behind. Acting as a focus for communities, providing access to information and literature to those on low incomes. Okay. We're going to go all out on that. What's this? Freedom of thoughts association well this is only good stuff and this is free okay I'll definitely go all out on this although I don't have enough political capital so what I'm gonna have to do is go into the next turn and have a look at children's food a law has been proposed to regulate the fat content and nutritional value of food sold to children including the food sold in fast food restaurants and of course food served in schools this is likely to incur costs. Look, unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave it as it is. We can't really afford to increase costs for anything, at least for other companies. We've got to 
keep on increasing that GDP. Although our health costs will probably inflate a little bit now. Let's see. Who wants to kill us now? The Patriot Army. Okay. Jeez. That is crazy. This is one of the weird things about the game. Like, how quickly crime can just drop. But, it is what it is. Okay. Well, that's good. That's going down. Poverty. Oh, it's still going down a bit, but not as fast. Let's have a look. What's bringing poverty down? Agricultural efficiency. I don't know how that works. Anyways, uh, we currently have a minor budget deficit of $19.1 billion. Okay. We still need to keep on increasing our GDP. Okay. Well, let's have a look. What's this? Minority sexuality. I want to help women, though. Equality seems to be a big problem. So, what's this? Child labor. State pensions. There we go. Abortion law. So, we want... A total ban... We definitely don't want that. Okay, so religious minorities are going to hate me a bit more. Gender, gender inequality will drop down, so that's good. Okay, I'll do that. And, oh, we're just there. I want this. Oh, science funding. Let's have a look. It will reduce your technology backwater and HIV AIDS unemployment. I'll reduce quite a bit, which is good. GDP will increase by a fair bit too. I can see any positives for this. It's just going to cost us a heck of a lot. Particle acceleration. I so say I'm playing this on 1080p, and there's still not enough space to show me what this is. But anyways, electron microscopes microscopes test so we're stuck on test tubes at the moment let's get all the way to particle acceleration and we'll apply that change okay now i'm gonna have to think of a way to make money so let's maybe go to tax and let's have a look at some of these petrol tax see no one likes that though i'm just trying to see let's have a look don't want any taxes that are going to cost me money. There we go. Luxury goods tax. A tax aimed specifically at the high spenders in our society. A surcharge is added to a high value luxury such as sports cars, private yachts. Now that sounds very good to me actually. You know what? No, uh, I'll leave it like this. It seems like in the final percent, like everything scales that much more. Like they hate you that much more. What I'm going to do is just leave it, I think, at like 80%. Extra 63 billion. Okay. Um, let's have a look what else I can do. Health tax credits. Middle income don't seem to be liking me very much. Well, the income seems to be rising. Let's obviously have the income tax. Um, I don't think there's really all that much else that I can do. Maybe just remove this. Tobacco usage has gone down. Poverty goes up though. Hmm. I'll leave that. Revert changes and just leave that there. Okay. Well, hopefully we're not going to be making any deficits. Oh, no. A tourist resort attacked. Terrorists have attacked um, tourists. I almost read that the other way around. Tourists attack terrorists. In a popular holiday resort, three foreign visitors have been killed and dozens more injured. We must decide whether to respond to this shocking event by declaring a state of emergency. Well, what happens? Civil rights must be suspended, so that'll make just liberals hate us even more. Emergency laws fundamentally undermine the constitution of our country, although it remains prevent makes it um, 
Though it makes preventing another attack harder, the rights of our citizens must remain intact. Declaring a state of emergency would cause the type of disruption and fear in our society that the terrorists intended. We won't declare a state of emergency. Seems like there's quite a few people liking me more. Although my popularity doesn't seem to be helping or yeah, helping my cause all that much. Okay. Um, well, let's have a look. Why are there power blackouts? Just poor infrastructure. Okay. What other things can we have a look at? Oh, parties? Okay. And then the opposition party. How come we have absolutely no members? This is crazy stuff. They definitely rigged this. Look at the crime. I don't understand how that works. <laughs> it just literally dropped down to nothing. Alright. Um, what does this do? Police force. It lowers crime, of course. And that's coming into effect, isn't it? What's this stuff? Security briefing. Okay, so I can see who's potentially causing us problems. Security effectiveness useless. Jeez, they definitely want me to uh, enact a lot though, don't they? What about ID cards? I mean, we might as well just forget about the liberals and just go all out on... Um, Trying to make it easy for me not to die. Let's see. Prisoner tagging, race discrimination act. No one really cares about that stuff though. All the good stuff. I don't have enough political capital. Jeez, there's a lot of political capital. I think I might actually go with the ID cards next turn. Let's have a look. Patriotic plots. Okay, we're definitely going to have to reduce that. Crime went back down. Unemployment's going back down pretty quickly. We have a minor budget deficit of $77 billion this time. The global economy is doing well, and opposition members stage a walkout. Oh, well. So I've got 72 to play around with. So let's go to Law and Order, and let's go ID cards, implement that, and we want... So liberals are going to hate me. Patriots and conservatives like me. Violent crime and crime goes down. That'll just help me out all around. So let's connect that. And what's this? An alcohol tax. And quality goes down. Interesting. But so does poverty. I'm surprised the quality goes down so much, though. But I think a total ban might actually do us some good. We'll get rid of some poor people. And let's have a look. Mansion tax, health tax credits. Oh, wrong button. No on that. Actually, here we go. We can have a look at where our money's coming from. It's still very much predominantly from the income taxes. We're raising taxes pretty efficiently at that. Uh, so the security briefing, this is what worries me. I need to do some other things like, let's have a look. Freedom of information. Mandate the transparency with which the government operates. Open government grants citizens the right to access the documents and proceedings of the government to facilitate effective public oversight. Okay, so there'll be less corruption, I guess. And it'll help increase democracy, so I'll raise that. Alright, and I think that's about it for this episode. So let's go next turn and I will see you guys for episode three in Nigeria.